Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> no. Time for bladder check. Check. So it's a show? It's a lifestyle. It's a religion. <laughs> My emotions! My emotions! I'm still French. Ouais, c'est pas faux. I'm a woman, Mary. I can be as contrary as I choose. Non, moi je crois qu'il faut que vous arrêtiez d'essayer de dire des trucs. Hello, hi, I'm Laura. I'm gonna watch Vinland Saga season 2, episode 23. I watched this morning the episode 22. If you want to see my reactions and my thoughts about it, I'm gonna put the link into the eye. I'm gonna put the playlist also for Vinland Saga because That's it, like I binge watch all of Villain Saga with you guys, so you can find on that playlist all of my reactions and my thoughts to all of the episodes of Villain Saga into the chronological order. Today I'm gonna finish this binge watch. I already watched one episode and I'm gonna watch the two final episodes of this season two. I'm impatient, I'm a little stressed with what is happening right now into the story. I'm, uh, I'm excited but I'm not feeling nostalgic, you know, or anything like that. Normally when I'm finishing a binge watching, I'm feeling a little nostalgic, but right now I know that we're not gonna end things with the season two. I know that I'm gonna have more to discover, so in a way I'm not feeling that much nostalgic. What I don't know is how long am I gonna have to wait to have the season three. If you know that, guys, don't hesitate to say it, you know, into the comments. Before beginning, a quick reminder you know about things right now for me i'm feeling better you know that i felt bad really bad during several weeks that the situation was rough for me it's still difficult for me but i'm doing things you know to improve it things which can have an impact on you one you're going to benefit from it it's for Vinland Saga on my Patreon. From now on, you're gonna have only four reaction part videos and you know, still with four episodes of advance with full opacity and stuff like that, but only four reaction part videos for Vinland Saga on my Patreon for the end of this binge watching, but also for the next season, for when it's gonna come. For that, you have to subscribe to the level three if you can be interested and also think about it. If you want, you can subscribe for the entire year and you're gonna have one month offer think about it. Something else also, the fact that into my life I need to begin a second activity if I want to continue this one, to continue to make this video, this channel, to continue to, yes, to enjoy this life and all with you guys, I need to begin a second activity into my personal life. But at first it's gonna be rough to find clients and also I need to open a crowdfunding for that. You can have the link to that crowdfunding on the description. It's through my Streamlabs PayPal account. You have the two links on the description. If you guys, you want to participate, each little help can be appreciated and useful. Little help like big ones, but I know that already to help just a little, it's already so nice of you. And I know how hard times are right now. Believe me, I know about it. Like why? I'm forced to, to do that kind of thing, it's just because it's beginning to be impossible for me to fill my fridge, you know, just to put things into my fridge. So believe me, I know the difficulties about just putting stuff into your fridge, uh, like I know about winter without turning it on, I know how it is to not take any holiday because you can't afford them, I know about stuff like that. So. If you guys, you want to help me to, to continue this channel and all, you can with that crowdfunding or by supporting me on Patreon, you know, regularly to, to be there regularly and to have these things, you know, in exchange, uh, you can do it. If you want and if you can, don't put yourself into any difficulty, I'm saying it each time. Be careful with that, but if you want and if you can, some people, for some people, you know, life is difficult, but not that much. So it's more, you know, to, to these people that I'm talking right now. It's not for people who are like me, you know, who are living difficulties. It's more for people who can afford to help a little this weirdo right there. <laughs> okay, about Villain Saga, no. That's it. We had Tolfin meeting Knut. Like, Knut, you could have stopped all of that. You could have decided to meet Tolfin earlier, but you didn't care about it. You didn't want it. For me, it was really lame. And it was a proof of 
this lack of courage a little like I don't know I found it really lame and like he was acting like a coward or something like that Tolkien won the privilege of talking to the king by taking 100 punches you know into his face that was rough to watch that was not such a surprise for Tolkien to to bet on that to accept that because he has no ego he doesn't care about people mocking him he doesn't care about people hurting him he's used to it and yes he was just taking it again and again and the fact that it was not for himself you know for a personal goal that he was doing it but really just because he wanted to stop all of what was happening or all of what could happen and you know really for everyone else really during that moment Tolkien was a martyr being hurt like hell risking his life for everyone else than himself Omar and Snake saw that and were forced to let him do it Einar approved it and after that Einar followed Torfin to talk with Knut I loved so much Einar facing Knut because Einar was really not considering if he was talking to a king or someone high you know and all no no he was just speaking with his heart with patience like always and he was really treating Knut like he was pointing his finger at him he was calling him stupid and stuff like that I loved so much Aina for that and also for that little moment when he told him if you truly want the farm that much you should build one by yourself and you know enjoy the pleasure of really building a farm with you know beginning with seeds and then growing things and all proving you know how much Aina loved that life you know as a farmer that it's really something into him so that was cool to to see him like that and for sure we had yes Knut and Tolfin facing each other Tolfin trying to find a compromise saying to Knut okay that's it you punished them enough you came you killed hundreds of these guys they are gonna have an hard time just to continue their lives you know to try to to rebuild that farm, to do something with it, that's it, they are punished you don't need something else when Knut said no no no, I'm not interested by that like really for Knut right now, his interest to conquer territories so he's gonna have more fighters for his army his fight against God like really Knut's logic is so illogic for even for himself you know for sure with what is right or not, that's not okay but even without thinking about that, you know, even without considering that there is something right to do, something not right to do even trying to put myself into his shoes I'm really like, even according to your own principles, to what you are supposed to want to do it's not okay, like at the beginning end of the season 1 you said that you wanted to build a paradise on this earth because you were so mad at God that you know you didn't believe in paradise and stuff like that anymore right there you are saying that you know you know you admitted it you know that you are only bringing chaos and destruction but it's gonna be your way to save people because you're building an army against God and because of that you're gonna have all mankind on your side and you're gonna build that paradise with them like seeing how much it's not functioning at all he's delusional, he's mad, he's a mad king right there and how he was talking you know about power and all like he was really talking like his father before him and that's something also that Einar said at some point about kings who burnt his village, who killed his family kings doing stuff because they have ideas on mind and all but real people are suffering from it when clearly they don't care about it, they are not involved into that like and right now what? you're saying Tolfin you want to kill me, I'm gonna stop you, I'm gonna kill you before like Clearly you didn't understand how much Tolfin evolved and that he didn't want to kill you, he wanted to convince you. Clearly he didn't succeed. 
but right there he's not impressed by killing you. But what Tarfin is gonna do now that he didn't succeed to convince Knut, that's something else. I really want for Orma and Snake to intervene and to, to be like, Eo, we decided to surrender, can you stop? Like, really, can you stop all of that madness? It would be cool to intervene right now, guys. Okay, I'm gonna stop this intro right now. Let's go for this episode. If you want on my Patreon, you can have already my reactions and my thoughts to the next episode. Like for Vinland Saga, we have four episodes of advance. I mean, all along this binge watching, we had four episodes of advance. It's the best way to support me, my Patreon, if you want and if you can. And you're gonna have a full reaction part with full opacity and all of that on my Patreon. Okay, let's go for this episode! Oh, the fact that he's into the light and you were the darkness and your dad haunting you. Can lead people, but can you convince you also change you? Run after him or run away? His logic, I'm criticizing his logic, which is illogic. He tried. Let him go, I swear. Yo! Let him go! He's mad. It's a sincere loss, but it's coming from his madness. Yes. Don't tell! Oh, he's gonna follow you, he's gonna try to conquer your land. No. You know, it's really meaningful for how he was considering his ancestors who flew away. Right. Cool, we're glad that you're having fun like her. Oh, he left? 
Не кстати. First Iceland. To keep up, to have a better life. You said that on Mars it is. Oh, thank you, Peter. <laughs> Oh, 
also. <laughs> Show your arms. Stop with your arms. Again, can they stop in Iceland before? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused because all of this episode and the end of it feels like the end of a season. But I still have one episode to watch. So I have that little up deep in my heart that they're gonna stop in Iceland before leaving, before searching for Vinland. Like the situation in Iceland, just to visit his family, to have news about his sister. Like for sure his sister was trying to take care of their place, you know, once they left, we saw it. But clearly with the announce that Thor's was dead and then that Thorfinn was lost and all, what could she do, you know, how did she end right there the situation? All along these years, like I'm really thinking not only these four last years during which Thorfinn changed, but really since Thor's died, the situation in Iceland for his family, I'm not so sure of it and I'm for sure thinking about the mother who had already a bad health when he was a kid, then when he met Leif when he was a teenager, Leif turned to Thorfinn your mother else, you know, is not that great, you should visit her before her dying. So now, four years later, how do you think that it is, like, for her, for clearly his sister, for the entire village? You're gonna come back, no one is gonna recognize you. And I'm not sure that you're gonna recognize that village, I'm pretty sure that everything changed. And during the first episodes of the season one, we saw also that this village had some enemies with these neighbors, you know, trying to to have control on them with that question of the slave, you, it was a slave coming from that that other village. Like, I'm really worried that the situation that we're gonna find in Iceland, if we're coming back in Iceland, is not gonna be as good as maybe Torfin can imagine right now for his sister, for his mother for sure, like if she's still alive uh, it would be a miracle and no matter what they're not gonna recognize him i hope that he's gonna really go there i hope that he's gonna help them like if you helped this farm by loyalty to these people please help iceland and your village by loyalty for your family for your bloodline you know the fact that they are living they are truly living no, first I have to go back to the beginning, to that discussion between Knut and Tolfin. The fact that Tolfin is saying, no, I'm not going to try to kill you, I'm going to run. I'm going to run away, I'm going to avoid you, your fight. You want to conquer territories, you want to continue this war more and more to, to have a bigger army against God and all. Uh, I'm against it, I'm not gonna fight you, I'm not gonna try to kill you. I'm gonna run the further that I can to avoid you, to avoid that. For Kony to react like that, to loss like a madman that he is, all of that thing about giving work to the other guy and all, really, all of what Kony is thinking right now, I understand his logic, I mean by that, that I understand his speech, what he's saying, but for me it's illogic with his own way to see things, his own logic, his own principles, values, what I thought that his principles and values were, like, it seems so off, you know, everything. I don't care, at the end he's deciding to withdraw, that's really what is important. That's it, no more, no more Knut, that's cool, like we're not gonna have him again, 
That's so cool. I mean, into this farm is gonna let these people live their lives. And for everyone to say goodbye to Tolfin and Einar, no, first. For Einar to accept to go with Tolfin, for both of them to call each other brother like that. Like, you know, that's it, it's done, their past, you know, are going together and their family and they're gonna go together like that. The bromance is gonna continue. That's so cool. And yes, for everyone to say goodbye to them. I'm so proud of Alma who wants to be like Tolfin, who saw him as an example. And for Alma, the decisions that he's taking, it's so great. And how he's taking care now of his farm and with Snake and his men to help him. Like that's it now, not just the lazy guys. Uh, making the security around and all. No, no, they are participating to the life of this farm, also because they don't have the choice, they don't have enough men. But they are doing it and that's so great. And for Snake to scream his real name like that, Roald, that's his real name. I prefer Snake, it's a cool nickname. But everything is so great during this moment and really the faces of Aina and Tolfin while they are living you know, they are not fully smiling, but you can see on their faces that they are relieved and at peace and really like... You know, and that feeling like when your, your muscles, you know, are relaxed and you're not smiling, but you can feel like... You're at peace. You're there. That's so cool. Even, you know, talking with, you know, an eye being half closed like that, <laughs> it felt like... It, you know, it seems like it. So yes, one more episode to go to finish the season, so for me, Iceland. I'm gonna stop in Iceland before leaving for Vinland. Trying to find Vinland and to build that dreamland on which no war, no slave, no one will choose death more than life. What Arnaid did. Oh, the remainder of Arnaid, you know, at multiple occasions with her grave. That was rough. I don't need to see it to think of her, you know, and to feel bad, really. I was almost like, but I didn't cry, and in fact, I remember, no, no, I cried. It's not because I, I don't feel, you know, that my face is all uh, like that because of tears that I didn't cry. No, no, I cried. Less than when she died, but still I cried. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there this video and I'm gonna watch the final episode of this season. It's gonna be in another video for you. For me, it's gonna be in some minutes. Again, if you already want to see the next episode in four reaction parts, like this one in four reaction parts, you have my Patreon for that, the level three. Okay, it's all for you for this video and it's all for me for now. So bye for now. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Crazy.